Marcelo, please put your hands together and make some noise. Welcome to the stage. The first noise. Amazing. Master of laughter. The little dude. The outrageous. Prior to the hit that himself. Love stuff. I'm definitely. Oh, there we go. How you guys doing? Oh, man. I gotta tell you, Tilly, if this is gonna be a cool night, are you guys ready to have some fun with me tonight? Yeah! This is it, my last show right here at the Tilly Casino. On the way down here tonight, I gotta tell you guys, I kind of figured out roughly how many shows between. Anybody ever go to the Quilcita with me down there? You guys remember the queue? Yeah. I started at the Quilcita down in 2003. Yep. I had weird stuff coming through the monitors there. But anyway, I figured it out tonight. I've done over 450 shows right here on these stages, man. And thank you guys for coming out and making sure that thing happened. Yes. So I really want to thank you guys for paying my mortgage for the last 15 years, okay? Yes, yes. Yeah. So this is the last one. Who has seen the show before? Let me see your hands. Very cool. Who's seen more than 10 shows? <laughs> wow, thank you guys very much from the bottom of my heart for coming out and supporting me for all these years. And uh, I'm not gonna talk too much because I'm gonna get choked up and I want you guys to laugh a little bit, not at me, but to laugh at the show. So anyway, are you guys ready to rock and roll? The disco balls are in the house tonight. You guys gonna stick around a little bit? Yes. Oh, before I start the show, my lovely wife, Jeannie, is not with me, but I told her I would do this. Here's what I want you guys to do. On a count of three, you guys raise some hell out there, okay? One, two, three, let them hear ya. <laughs> Jeannie, honey, this one's for you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so anyway, where's my 20-somethings? Where's my 20-somethings? Let me hear ya. <laughs> cool, I know where the tweakers are. This is good. How about 30-somethings? Where's my 30s? Nice. 40-somethings. Very cool. 50 and over. Show me some love. Yes. My people. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, those guys in their 20s, they're out there drinking Jägermeister and Fireball and shit like that. <laughs> yeah. Then you turn 30 and the hangovers start lasting, don't they? Then you turn 40, you go, damn, I'm half dead, right? The mortality thing kicks in. But when you turn 50, folks, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. You wake up on the morning of your 50th birthday and realize <laughs> you don't give a damn anymore, do you? Right? <laughs> Screw it. We've been there. By the way, I got to tell you, I, uh, Jeannie and I, we moved down to Palm Springs, and it's, <laughs> it's cold up here. Okay. I flew in yesterday, I swear, I saw penguins and polar bears at SeaTac. It was colder than hell. Somebody said, why did you go to Palm Springs? Well, number one, ladies and gentlemen, it's warm. Any place where the women and the temperature are over 90, I do very well, okay? <laughs> mm, yes. I live, in, I live in a community, a gated community. It's a 55 and up community because I'm that old. <laughs> When they talk about Fifty Shades of Grey, they're not talking about the book. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so folks, oh man, it was so nice. Do I have any drinkers out there? Who's drinking with me tonight? You know what? The lovely girls back there put my glasses up. So where's my social drinkers tonight? All right, let me tell you what it means. It means I grab my glass. You guys grab your glass to lay it up. I raise my glass up. You guys raise yours. I yell social, you yell social, we all drink. Social! <sighs> and since there is left-handed people out there, and I'm not prejudiced, <laughs> we'll do this one more time. This is for you left-handed. Put them up there. Social! All right. I want you guys to drink heavily tonight. Because the drunker you get, the funnier I am. And it's Tulalip. It's like, what, 300 people, four cops? It's a good, good odds tonight, okay? We're just going to have some fun. Anyway, where's an old guy? Where's an old guy? Where's an old guy out here? Where's, like, an old guy? What's, a, what's a, I got an old guy right there. How old are you? You right there. 
67. What's your name? What? Jerry. Jerry? Give Jerry a hand. 67 years old, ladies and gentlemen. This is cool. Jerry, you're my Yoda tonight, dude. I don't have a lot of old friends like you that are breathing. That's good. It's just good. Can, can I ask you a question? Is it natural for your balls to hang down this low at this age? Because <laughs> I was in the shower soaping up, and I looked down and thought, damn, that does look like a tea bag. This isn't funny, folks. I'm scared to ride a bike in shorts. That gets caught in a chain. It's going to hurt like hell backing it out, you know? My wife wants me to get a tattoo on my butt. Jerry says, beware of falling rocks. That's not funny, is it? That's just... I can't even walk through the house naked anymore. <laughs> we got a cat. <laughs> Thank you guys for getting that. I had to explain that joke in Montana. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. So anyway, you know what? Normally I do a bunch of stand-up up here, but you guys have heard all my jokes before. And tonight, I just want tonight to be really special for you guys. So I just really want to say thank you guys for my bar staff back there. Give them a hand, they've been helping me out for a long time. My sound guys back there, Ryan and Kyle taking care of me up here. And I wanna thank, give yourselves a hand for coming out to all the shows. This is so cool. <clears throat> anyway, so ladies and gentlemen, <sighs> hypnosis is something that you do three to four hours every single day of your life, let me explain. Have you ever been driving down the street, got somewhere and didn't remember driving there? And you didn't have a bottle of tequila between your legs? <laughs> yeah, hypnosis. How about sports fans? Where's my sports fans here? I forgot. I'm in Washington. Let's try this again. Where's my Seahawks? That's better. That's better. Yes. How have you ever tried to talk to somebody while they're watching a Hawks game? <laughs> Hypnosis, yes. Guys, you ever brought your wives or girlfriends down to the mall? <laughs> Hypnosis, yes. Hey, where's my married guys? Where's my married guys? Where's my married? See, they don't clap because the chains don't go far enough. But that's, that's cool. That's cool. Yes, I like it. That's very nice. Uh, I am married. I've been married for about 22 years now. My wife's in Palm Springs. That's why it works. But anyway, no, no, no. I love my wife. She's a she's a great woman. She saved me from a life of being single. Hey, did you do single well? No, I didn't either. I sucked at it. I was like the Forrest Gump of being single. I thought dating was like a box of chocolates. I opened up the box, they looked so good, I wanted to eat every one of them. And just when I decided which one was right for me and took it out of the box, some son of a bitch had already stuck his finger in it. It didn't happen, okay? I dated a lot, though. I dated all kinds of women. I dated really big women. I dated really tall women. I, did, I dated one woman so tall I had to go up on that woman. That was... You'll get that later, don't worry about it. <laughs> I even dated a um, uh, politically correct, she was a little person. I was nuts over that girl. <laughs> I had to get rid of her, she kept sticking her nose in my business. But anyway, back into the show. Oh, they get worse, trust me. All right, so anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not gonna get stuck in hypnosis. That hasn't happened. It's physically impossible, it hasn't happened. Like in two weeks, don't worry about it. I'll put you in a trance, I'll take you back out. A lot of people think you gotta be weak-minded, kinda uh, dumb to be hypnotized. That's not the way hypnosis works. Ladies and gentlemen, let me explain. I was in Portland, Oregon a couple weeks, weeks ago. Well, yeah. The shots just kicked in, okay? Uh, yes, I was in Portland, Oregon a couple weeks ago. I had to talk real slow down there, but you guys are quick, aren't you? You guys are fast, right? All right, because I had to talk slow in Oregon. They, they don't pump their own gas there, okay? Yeah, we know. We'll just say that. Here's what I want you guys to do. It's, is it Jerry, is that right? 67 years old, Jerry? Who are you with, Jerry? With Jesse? Okay. It's, what's that? He said he beat you up if what? If you didn't do what to him? Oh, buy him a beer. I thought, I don't even want to tell you what I heard. All right. Here's what I want you guys to do. Jerry, look, uh, look everybody, thumb and forefinger like this. Put them up, put them up, put them back there in the cheap seats. Put them up your fingers. Yeah. It's not like this, honey. You, right there. You, yeah, you, you, put your fingers up. Not that one. That's not funny. Put this up, okay? Here, everybody does this. Jerry, why don't you look at that circle. Look back at me. Circle, back at me. Circle, back at me. You guys ready? Really quickly, drop your head. We gotta go faster, folks. It's like Portland all over again. 
Here, shake it out a little bit, shake it out a little bit. You've done that before, Jerry, haven't you? All right, so. <laughs> and if you're from Canada with the exchange rate, it's like, eek. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Look at that circle. Look back at me. Circle back at me. Circle. But you guys ready? Really quick. On the top of your head. On your forehead. On your chin. Chin's down here, honey. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You are so close, too, man. This is. That's it. It's okay. It's all right. See, if you thought that's your chin, that's okay. That just meant you're really smart. I'm covering for you. All right. <laughs> No, because you followed instructions. You're the kind of people I want up here in a couple of minutes. Now, somebody said, how do you get up on stage? Ladies and gentlemen, it's easy. <laughs> There's stairs right there. <laughs> it's an easy show. But let me give you a couple reasons why you should come up. Ladies and gentlemen, hypnosis is something that you do every single day of your life. But one hour of hypnosis is equal to a full night's sleep. So if you want to have a good night's sleep, make sure you come on up in here. Not right now, but when I ask you. Anybody want to lose weight? Anybody want to drop a couple pounds? We can make that happen too for the people who come up on stage. At the end of the show, I'm going to give some suggestions to them. If you want to lose weight, we're actually averaging 19 pounds in eight weeks. If you want to lose weight, we can make it happen. How about anybody want to quit smoking? <laughs> All right, one person, screw it. We won't do it. All right. <laughs> Majority rules, honey. All right. How about anybody want great sex tonight? Not bad, not bad. A few of you guys are just married or just really happy. All right, <laughs> now you guys remind me of a little place I played up in Alaska. Anybody ever been to Palmer, Alaska? That's, I've been, we played a place called Palmer, Alaska. It's a little tiny town up on the coast of Alaska. Ladies and gentlemen, I ran out on that stage. I yelled, who wants great sex? You could hear a pin drop in that room. Oh. I figured out why. There's 200 people in the entire town I think that's why they called it Palmer. Yes. Some of you will get that later, don't worry, it's okay. Anyway, if you want to lose weight, we can make it happen. You want great sex, just see Jerry after the show. Now, ladies. Ah. Jerry, stand up. What's that? <laughs> yeah, Jerry, stand up. <laughs> Jerry, I'm pimping you out tonight, brother, yes. So ladies and gentlemen, there is five kinds of people who cannot be hypnotized. Let me tell you who they are. First kind of person can't be hypnotized. Somebody's not want to be. If you don't want to be in the show, stay out there. But I do invite each and every one of you. I don't pick people out of the audience. When Ryan starts the music out there, I'm going to ask for volunteers. You guys get your butts up here when these seats are full. We got a show. And I promise I won't have you hump anything. Well, I might, but not chairs or anything like that. We're not going to do that kind of show tonight. So, if you want to have some fun with me in just a couple of minutes, get your buns up here. Now, the second kind of person who cannot be hypnotized is somebody with an IQ of less than 60. If you just understood what I said, we're okay, all right? <laughs> Third kind of person, somebody's had way too much alcohol. Here's my test. If you can get from your seat to my seat, we're good to go, all right? Easy show. Fourth kind of person, somebody's not breathing, you gotta have a heartbeat, otherwise lay in the middle of the seats and screw up my whole show. Now, the fifth kind, this is one I'm concerned about. The fifth kind of person that can never be hypnotized, never be hypnotized, unequivocally or unequivocally be hypnotized, is somebody with ear dudes. If you have ear dudes, stay in your seat. You know, ear dudes. Ear dude! All right. <laughs> gentlemen, last thing I need to ask you guys is this. A lot of people think hypnosis is magic, and ladies and gentlemen, it's not magic. I don't know how to do magic. I wish I did because, you know, I love magic. You guys like magic? I love magic. And, ladies and gentlemen, you know what? If you lend me the use of your imagination for about the next, oh, I don't know, 90 minutes, something really cool, call it. Magic does happen. All you need to do is get ready to have some fun. All you need to do is look around your table. Ladies and gentlemen, it's first come, first serve. Ryan, give it to me. Ladies and gentlemen, look around your table. Decide who it's going to be. It's the last time at Tulalip for you to come on up and sleep with me. Let's do it.
stay out there, man. This is nice. <laughs> All right, so you guys ready to have some fun? Very cool. Feet flat on the floor. Are you sitting next to somebody that you know? No. Uh, you two are? You two? Swap places with you. That's okay. Uh, let me ask it a different way. Are you sitting next to somebody you've been intimate with? No. <laughs> you two had to look. <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing at, dude. He's bigger. You'll be the bitch. <laughs> What's that? The sisters count? Who you don't like each other? I don't give a damn. Okay. It's good. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. God, they are sisters, aren't they? Oh. Yeah. So everybody, feet flat on your floor, put your hands on your knees. Are you sitting next to somebody? That, no, we, we already, are you sitting next to somebody you'd like to be into with? I can make that happen too if you want, dude. It's, it's all right. So what, what's with the thing? It's, what? You turned 21, that's not what that top thing says. We'll just go with it though, okay? All right, it's okay. Very good. So who's ever been hypnotized before? Let me see some hands. Good, who's married? You've been hypnotized, okay? <laughs> Trust me on this one. All right. Who wants to lose weight? Let me see some hands. Good. Who wants to quit smoking? See some hands. Who wants to uh, have great sex tonight? See some hands. Take a good look, folks. The hypnotic dating service at your pleasure. Okay. I just saved you 50 bucks on Jaeger. Okay. <laughs> some states, that's called foreplay. <laughs> All right. Do you guys ready to have some fun? Very good. Anybody got any aches and pains? Anybody got any owies that I can go? No, where at, sweetie? Where at? Yeah? Okay, can I get rid of the pains for you tonight? Okay, anybody else? And, and ex-wives and spouses don't count. <laughs> Sweet, can I get rid of it for you? Not the angle, but the pain. Okay, very, very good. You had to think about that. That's all right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I need you to repeat after me. Yell really loud, yell, I! That's a little quick there, dude. <laughs> I know you've heard that before. All right, so... so. <laughs> I told you I'm taking the gloves off tonight, man. <laughs> this is, anyway, let's try it one more time. I! I give myself permission! Give myself permission! To have fun! Have fun. And obey all! Oh, am I going too fast, honey? <laughs> it's like you're not keeping up with me. Okay, where are you from? Where are you from? Get Everett? <laughs> I'll talk slow. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's try it one more time. I, I give, myself give myself permission to have fun, have fun. and obey all of Ron's commands. <laughs> Ron's you kind of lost it on the obey part there, sweetheart. <laughs> She's like, obey? I don't think so, funny man. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to talk to everybody up here. Here's what I need you guys to do. I don't want you to talk to anybody, look at anybody, unless I ask you to. Take a deep breath. Hold it. I'll be right back. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I oh, let it go, guys. <laughs> what I didn't tell them up here is you can get hypnotized right where you sit. The reason I did not say that earlier, they wouldn't have got up here. I needed a show, okay? But here's the deal. Somebody sitting next to you and they're trying to get hypnotized, please do not poke them and stuff to see if it works. Hypnosis is real. Their eyes, shut the fuck up. <laughs> My show. <laughs> now. <laughs> God, get that. <laughs> okay. Now. If somebody's sitting next to you and they're trying to get hypnotized, please do not poke them with stuff to see if it works. Hypnosis is real. Their eyes will close. They'll start to go to sleep. In fact, if they're going to feel really good. They're going to start to slide out of their chair. Don't let them bounce on the ground. I know it's funny, but don't let them do that, okay? Put your arm around them. Raise your hand. I'll be out there to get them. Now, everything that I told these people you can do out there. If you want a great night's sleep, you can do it right where you're at. 
One hour of hypnosis is equal to a full night's sleep. You can do it right where you're at. If you want to quit smoking, you can do it right where you're at. You want to lose weight, you can do it right where you're at. You want great sex, you can do it right... No, no, not that one. It's, I got carried away. Okay. But anyway, if you want to find out how hypnosis works, ladies and gentlemen, spin your chair around do exactly what I asked them to do. The only thing to keep you out of hypnosis to lay up is you. Enjoy the show tonight. All right, everybody, feet flat on the floor. Put your hands on your knees. I'm going to teach you how to get hypnotized. It's really, really easy. All you got to do is nothing. It's pretty easy to do. But there's a little trick to it. It involves three letters, T-R-Y, the word try. The word try actually means failed your subconscious mind. Let me explain. Have you ever tried to go to sleep? Didn't work, right? What happened when you quit trying? It happened, right? Very good. You ever um, tried to go on a diet? No. When you quit trying, then your weight starts to come off. How about, um, you ever tried to pick up good looking women? I know. See, things start to happen. <laughs> All you gotta do is quit trying, is what I'm saying. Do not try. The letters T-R-Y mean fail. I don't want you guys to fail tonight. So tonight, I want you to allow. Does everybody understand the difference between trying and allowing? Very, very good. Say yes, Ron. Very good. Now, what's your name down here, sweetheart? Hi, Kathy, glad to meet you. I want you to put your head on her shoulder. Your head on her shoulder, 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 all the way down, 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 down. Your name, sweetheart? Vicky, don't do it, you'll fall down. Yes, it's, okay. There we go. Everybody sit up straight, go this way. <laughs> Kathy, don't do it, you'll fall down. <laughs> You're not from Stanwood, are you? <laughs> yeah, go this way. <laughs> this way, honey. Yeah, this, the other right, yes. Come on, there we go. Everybody sit up straight. Does that feel weird to anybody? It's tough shit. Now, it's just, the reason I did that is just a minute your head's going to go that way or that way. I want you to know that the person sitting next to you will support your weight. They will not let you guys fall down. So are you guys ready to have some fun? Very good. Now, if I do send you back down to the audience, all that meant is you're trying too hard. I cannot emphasize this enough. Do not try. Allow. If I do send you back, it means you're trying too hard. I got a big, a uh, lot of people up here. I don't have a lot of room, so I will send some of you back. I'm only going to keep the best, okay? I'm looking for people that are easily hypnotized, that go down fast, deep, and hard. So if you're easy and want it fast, deep, and hard, you're in the right spot, okay? All right. So, you got a dirty mind, honey. I like you already. All right. Are you guys ready to have some fun? Very, very good. Ryan, bring them down for me a little bit. Here we go, guys. Your eyes on my eyes. I don't want you to talk to anybody, look at anybody, unless I ask you to. Take a deep breath. Hold it. Let it go. If you're out there in the audience you want to find out how hypnosis works, spin your chair around. Do exactly what I ask these people to do. Ladies and gentlemen, have fun tonight. Second breath. Hold it. Hold it. Let it go. One more time. Deep breath. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Let your eyes close. Let that breath go slowly. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're up on stage, you're out there in the audience, if your eyes are closed, you're the one I'm speaking to. What I want you to do for me right now is listen. I want you to listen to all the sounds. I want you to listen to the sound of the casino outside, the sound of the servers, the sound of my voice, the sound of the music coming up in the background. Because you see, ladies and gentlemen, every single breath you take, every word I speak, every sound you hear, every beat of your heart, there's one thing and one thing only, and that's begin the journey inside your mind. To a place called relaxation. All you gotta do is just let go. Don't fight it, don't force it, don't try to make it happen, because it won't. Simply let it happen. There's no place you need to be, nothing you need to do, except exactly what you're doing right now. Take another deep breath. And as you let that breath go, I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor. Without moving your foot, Without moving your foot, I want you to place all your concentration into your left foot right now for me. See it inside your mind. You don't need to move it. That foot's been with you every single day of your life. You know exactly what it looks like. But right now, notice the way that that foot sits upon the ground. Notice how the ground supports your foot. The same way the earth has supported your foot every single day of your life, but you may have never been aware of it until right now. See, I told you hypnosis is easy. All you got to do is nothing. And that's pretty easy to do. Take another deep breath. 
And as you let that breath go, move it from your left foot up to your right hand. Now I want you to do me a favor. Without moving that hand, I want you to use your imagination. I want you to imagine that the fingertips of that right hand have become so sensitive that you could feel and see the material beneath them. Now, what would that look like in your mind? What would it feel like? What would it be like? Imagine just for a moment that you could see through your fingertips. You could see the colors, the pores, the very DNA of what you're touching. For some reason, if you cannot see it, imagine what it would look like if you could see it. You see, ladies and gentlemen, your mind and your body is already slipping into a state called suspended animation, suspended consciousness, otherwise known as hypnosis. Take another deep breath. And with every beat of your heart, every breath you take, every word I speak, every sound you hear, deeper and deeper, relaxed, just let go. Pushing away all the cares, all the worries, all the stress, you don't need them right now. If you need to find them again later, you always can. But right now, just let it go. Move it from your right hand down to your right foot. Sometime today, you put on the shoe that you're wearing. Notice the way that shoe is wrapped around your foot now. Warm, safe, solid, secure. Notice the temperature inside your foot. If you're wearing open-toed shoes or sandals, notice the breeze that blows across your feet. And that allows you to concentrate on your thighs being pressed against the chair, which doubles that sensation of relaxation. Just let go. Move it from your right foot up to your left hand. Now one more time, use that imagination. I want you, without moving your hand, without moving your fingers, imagine what it would feel like if that hand was being pulled down to the center of the earth, or maybe up into the sky with a thousand helium balloons. Now, I don't know which one is happening. Whichever one is happening, that's the right one for you. So to this right hand, that's the right one. Left one's once left over, and that's right. But if it is left hand, that is the right one. And the right one's once left over, and that's right. But right now, it makes no difference. The next breath you take, ten times deeper than you are right now, just let go. Move it up behind your eyes. I want you to relax your eyes to the point they simply will not open. Now you can do it, I can't do it for you. You have the strength, the power, the control over your body, your mind. If you decide those eyes are so relaxed, they will not open, nothing can open those eyes. In fact, the harder you try, the harder you try to open those eyes, the more those eyes are stuck tightly, tightly, tightly shut. Relax your body, relax your mind until you know those eyes will not open. And then try to open those eyes. Relax those eyes and push it down through your body, all the way down. I'm going to come by, I'm going to touch your hand. If you're out in the audience and somebody's sitting next to you with their eyes closed, raise your hand really quickly for me now. Ten times deeper, just let go, all the way down. Loosen limp. I'm going to come by, I'm going to touch your hand. When I touch your hand, your body goes loose and limp like a rag doll. Ten times deeper. When I drop your hand into your lap and you hear the words, sleep, your body goes loose and limp like a rag doll, 10 times deeper. Now, when I touch your hand, you will not be scared, you will be just fine. That's right. When I drop your hand into your lap, you hear me say the word sleep, 10 times deeper. your hand your body goes loose and limp like a rag doll ten times deeper let me do all the work I know you can help me but let me do all the work when I drop that hand into your lap you hear the word sleep ten times deeper all the way down night night don't sleep all the way bye bye don't sleep deep just let go bye bye sleep deep night 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 sleep deep all the way sleep Just let go. Sleep deep, sweetheart. Very, very good. Night, night. All the way down. Sleep. Bye-bye. 
love you, sweetie. Can't use you tonight. I'm going to let you go on back. Thank you very much. The guy that I knocked out over there, touch him. Open your eyes up, dude. You. Come here. Come here. Right there. Ten times deeper with every breath that you take. All the way down. Loosen it like a rag doll. Come on up here. All the way down. Loose and limp, ten times deeper. Just let go. Every breath. How you doing, brother? Very good. When your butt hits that chair, you're gonna go night night. Bye bye. <laughs> Sleep. All the way down. Just let go. Loose and limp. I wanna start counting backwards from 100. Every number that I say, make that number a burden, the burden you want to get rid of, have to get rid of. Push it out of your mind. In between each number, I'm gonna say the words deeper, relax. When you hear the words deeper, relax, 10 times deeper. Number 100, <laughs> deeper, relax. Just let go. 97, 6, 5, loose and limp all the way down. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, <laughs> just let go. All the way down, just let go. I'm gonna to count to three on the number three. Your eyes are gonna pop open. You're gonna be very relaxed. It's gonna be hard to keep those eyes open because those eyes are so relaxed. I'm gonna snap my fingers, snap my fingers, snap my fingers. Say the word sleep, snap my fingers, say the word sleep. When you hear me, see me, snap my fingers, say the word sleep, your eyes immediately shut, your body goes loose and limp. 10 times more relaxed than you are. The harder you try to keep those eyes open, the faster those eyes are gonna close. The harder you try to resist, the deeper you're gonna go. On the count of three, you're going to sit up straight, snap of the fingers, say the word sleep. Your eyes immediately shut, your body goes loose and limp, ten times deeper. The harder you try to keep those eyes open, the faster those eyes are going to close. One, two, three, sit up straight, open your eyes, sleep deep. <laughs> bye bye, all the way down. Bye, sweetie. Night night, <laughs> sleep. <laughs> all the way down. <laughs> bye bye. Hi, what's your name? Huh? Bye, <laughs> sleep. Night night, <laughs> sleep deep. <laughs> Hi, honey, you just sit there because you're like a bookend right now. Honey, you're stuck right there for a minute. On the count of three, one more time. Go ahead and cut the music for me, Ryan. On the count of three, you're going to sit up straight. Snap of those fingers, eyes immediately shut. Your body goes loose and limp, ten times deeper. The harder you're trying to keep those eyes open, the faster those eyes are going to close. One, two, three, sit up straight, open your eyes. Sleep deep. Bye-bye. <laughs> All the way down. There we go, all the way down. Hi, honey. What's your name? Hi, Jennifer. You ever slept with a hypnotist? Bye bye. Boom, sleep. Boom, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you wouldn't believe the shit I'm going to do up here tonight, okay? <laughs> Everybody, on the count of three, one more time, you're going to sit up straight, snap of those fingers, eyes immediately shut, your body goes loose and limp, ten times deeper. The harder you try to keep those eyes open, the faster those eyes are going to close. The harder you try to resist, the deeper you're going to go. One, two, three, sit up straight, open your eyes, sleep deep. Bye-bye, <laughs> night-night, all the way, <laughs> sleep, bye-bye. <laughs> that was weird, wasn't it? Bye, <laughs> sleep, there we go. Very good. You go that way. Sleep deep. Night, night. Yep, there we are. Very good. You just stay right there, sis. He's fine. It's got six inches. Could have made his night. All right. So... <laughs> oh, man. Sleep deep, dude. I know. Yes, yes. Very good. What's that? Very good. Everybody on stage, you just admitted this crowd's gonna go crazy. They're gonna laugh, scream, clap, and applaud. The louder this audience gets, the deeper in hypnosis you go. The deeper you go, the better it feels, the more of a star you become. That's right, I said the word star. You're gonna laugh, you're gonna sing, you're gonna dance. Because yeah. that's what stars do. They laugh, they sing, they dance. Every suggestion I gave you sounds like it came from your own mind, and it's the best damn idea you've had all day long. You're gonna obey it to the best of your ability. You'll see what I ask you to see, smell what I ask you to smell, experience what I ask you to experience, because it's happening to you, honey. It's live, it's not Memorex, it's absolutely live. You're gonna see it, smell it, and experience it exactly the way I describe it. The louder this audience gets, the deeper into hypnosis you go. The louder this audience gets, the more of a star you become. The louder this audience gets, the more real what you're about to experience happens and the deeper into hypnosis that you go. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for one last time to lay up. These are your stars! Very good. Should we have some fun? Everybody on stage, everybody on stage, you just minute, you're gonna sit up straight. Anytime I say the word hypnosis, anytime I say the word hypnosis, 
you're going to sit up straight. Anytime you hear the word hypnosis, you're going to notice the person next to you begins to smell. So good. They smell so good, you lean over and start to sniff their body up and down. It's the best smell you've ever smelled in your entire life. Man or woman, woman or man, it makes no difference. They smell good, you smell good, you sniff them, they sniff you. They're not embarrassed, you're not embarrassed. It's a beautiful thing. In fact, the closer you get, the better they smell. And you want them to like you, so sniff around. If I touch you on the shoulder, they smell ten times better than they did simply seconds before. And, of course, the farther down you sniff, the better it gets. That's right. If I touch you on the shoulder, that person smells 10 times better than they did simply seconds before. But if you hear this sound, uh -oh. that person just cut loose with the nastiest, juiciest, paint peeling egg fart you've ever smelled in your entire life. You're not sure if it's the one on the left or one on the right, but somebody just cracked their pants and you know it's one of those two. That's right. Anytime you hear the word hypnosis, that bad smell's all gone. The person next to you starts to smell so good. If I touch you on the shoulder, ten times better than they did simply seconds before. One, two, three, sit straight, open your eyes, wakey, wakey, wakey. I want to thank you guys for coming up. What was your name again? Kathy, right? Very good. Kathy, I want to thank you guys for coming up. You see, the person next to you is right up by hers. That's right, next to you, next to you. Very good. They smell so good. It's right over by that. There we go. Anyway, <laughs> hypnosis is something that's kind of, it's kind of good. You make some friends there. That's right. It's kind of cool. That's right. It's down on your leg. That's right. It's kind of cool. People start to lose interest. It's, See, people start to do it. It's good. That's right. It's kind of fun. People do this kind of stool. It's right next to yours, right over your ears. Hypnosis is kind of fun. It's right over hers. That's right. People start to do this. It's down on her legs. That's right. People start to do it. It's kind of fun, Kathy. It's right over. It's what. It's. Who's doing that? It's. Come here. I'm going to you go back and. Get out of here. There's just those two right there. Yes. Come here, Kathy, and we'll put you down here on the end here. Come here. It's, it's nasty over here. You sit down next to this guy. There we go. And you come over here. And it's, I don't know what the hell she ate, but good God. That's just, that's, you sit down next to him. There we go. Hypnosis is something that people start to do. It's kind of an interesting trait. People see things, the closer you get, the better it smells. That's right. People see things and they do things. It gets kind of crazy. It's just, it's an interesting behavior. People start, the next time you hear that sound, you did it. No. They waved that out. That's not funny, okay? Come on, Jesus. What the hell do you people eat? It's, what was your name again? Bye bye. Too, sleep, sleep. Too, too, bye bye. Too, night night. Too, too. Bye bye. Too, sleep. Bye bye. Too. There we are. <laughs> too, sleep. There we are. Very good. Stay right there, honey. Hi. Um, okay. I'll do it. Open up your eyes. I'm going to let you go back, sweetheart. You're in the wrong chair, Anna. Anna, right? Yeah. Very good. Look at him. Sleep. Too, bye bye. Anyway. <laughs> I'll just have fun with it, honey. All right. <laughs> Oh, everybody on stage, you just minute you're to open your eyes. If you open your eyes on the count of three, you're going to look up. You're going to see something you did not expect to see tonight. Uh-uh, no way. See, when you open up your eyes on the count of three, you're going to notice the back of my pants disappeared. And I don't wear underwear. And I got the hairiest butt you have ever seen in your entire life. So when you open your eyes on the count of three, you're going to look up, you're going to notice the back of my pants is gone. I got no undies on. I got hair where gorillas don't. If I bend over, it looks like Bigfoot yawning. Yeah. <laughs> it's not pretty. Uh -oh. And you can't tell me, but when you open your eyes on the count of three, you're going to look up, you're going to see the back of my pants is gone. I got no undies on, and I got the hairiest, the curliest, the fuzziest set of butt. I got the hairiest ass you've ever seen, and you can't tell me. One, two, three, sit up straight, open your eyes, wakey, wakey, wakey. Oh, oh that's good, honey. That's right. That's right, you're just making some friends, aren't you? There we go. What's your name? Sam. Was it? Sam. Sim, I guess I am. Sam. Oh, very good. I'm going to talk to everybody. What's your name again? Jennifer. And who are you? Matt. And Kathy. And what's your name, sweetie? Linda. And you are? Mike. 
And you? And, and Anna, right? I'm going to talk yeah. to you guys. You guys just chill out. Things start to happen in this part of the show. <laughs> They're not sure exactly what's going on. But you know what? Things they're not sure why, but this is it's it's okay. Hey, you got boots on. I like your boots, those are nice. Those are cool. Those are nice. And you got like little, like, oh, uh, one of the wool boots things. It's just, it's, it's just kind of funny. It's, it's, it, it's what's the matter, Sim? You okay? You all right? But next time I turn around, they're dreadlocks. <laughs> You guys ever do that Zumba <laughs> dance? I kind of like that dance. That's kind of fun. <laughs> you okay over there, dude? <laughs> you all right? Now see, some people think that part of the show is weird, and it is. <laughs> it's about to get a hell of a lot weirder. Because <laughs> the next time I turn around, the front's gone, too. <laughs> That's right. The next time I turn around, the front's gone, too, and I'm hung down to my kneecaps. <laughs> Piss off. It's my show. <laughs> That's right, the next time I turn around, the front's gone too, and I'm hung down to my kneecaps, and you can't tell me. That's right, see, people starting to see this part of the show. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend, <laughs> Brothers, <laughs> you look at a white chocolate with nuts. That's right. That's right. Oh yes, hello. <laughs> you can run, but you can't run. Yes. <laughs> they don't know what to do. your wedding ring? That's really how long you've been married. 20 years. 20 years. Is your husband out here? No. He's not? No. Can I show him your ring? That's really pretty. Here, can I show it's you guys see it's dirty. Let me shine it up. It's like, it's, 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 scaring the shit out of me now. It's sleep! <laughs> bye bye. All the way. Down. Just stay there and enjoy, honey. <laughs> Very good. Are you guys having fun yet? <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we got some old, I got some new, I got some hot, I got some blue. We got a whole bunch of things for you guys tonight. In fact, I told the disco balls, would it be okay if I went a little long tonight? Yeah. Would it be okay? We'll see. All right, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. I forgot my mic stand tonight, the one with all the scarves. So we'll see. Which one? Get my mom. Anna, Anna, Anna. This guy? 
Đó ca. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's try it. You ready? The one I'm touching right now, sleep deep. Yeah. The one I'm touching right now, sleep deep. Anytime you hear this music, <laughs> sleep. No, he's not going to do it for me. I want this guy. The one I'm touching right now, anytime you hear this music, the one I'm touching right now, anytime you hear this music, Anytime you hear that music, your eyes are going to pop open in the center of the stage is the best looking woman you have ever seen in your entire life. She's hot, she's nasty, she is crazy. And she's all yours. But she's not easy. No, 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 you have to win her affection. And the way you're going to do that is when you hear that music, you're going to stand up and give her your sexiest dance moves. That's right, the sexier of a dancer you are, the faster she's gonna fall in love with you, and you know what that means. That means if you got a wife or a girlfriend in the audience, she said, it's okay, dude, you got a hall pass tonight. That's right. But the one I'm touching right now, when you hear that music, you're gonna look up, center of the stage, is the best looking girl you've ever seen. You're gonna stand up, give her the sexy, as nasty as dance you possibly can. And let's see what just might happen. Jumped up. My bad. <laughs> Snap your fingers for me. people out here. You see that? Yeah. That's yeah. a wig on a microphone, Stan Lee. <laughs> yeah. So sorry. And you're awake now. You're talking to me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so if I asked you to dance real sexy and nasty with a wig on a microphone stand in front of three, four hundred people, would you do it? Absolutely not. Anytime I say the word hypnosis, somebody reached up, grab your underwear, and give you an incredible atomic wedgie. It's not going to hurt, but it is uncomfortable. Except, <laughs> except for the one I'm touching right now. The one I'm touching right now, anytime you hear the word hypnosis, you're going to look down because your boobs are talking to you. <laughs> the one I'm touching right now, you're the one that can translate what her boobs are saying. <laughs> The one I'm touching right now, the one I'm touching right now, anytime you hear the word hypnosis, you're going to look out in the audience. You're going to find a man with a bald head. You're going to go out and begin to rub his head very, very, very slowly. The faster you rub it, the better it feels to you. Yeah. That's right. Let's see. The one I'm touching right now, anytime I say the word hypnosis, you become the laughter police. Anytime somebody in the audience starts to laugh, it's your job to get them to shut the hell up. That's right. 
you will not leave the stage, but you can yell and scream all you want. The one I'm touching right now, anytime you hear the word hypnosis, you're going to look out in the audience. Every man just stood up, dropped his trousers, waving that little willy at you, all crinkled and curly and nasty. And you're, you're going to point at them and laugh because it's really small. That's right. The one I'm touching right now, the one I'm touching right now, anytime you hear the word hypnosis, you're going to look out in the audience. Every woman just flashed you. You're going to jump up and yell, I love boobies. Now... The one I'm touching right now, anytime you hear the word hypnosis, you're going to look down. The only thing that you're wearing is a woman's lace red thong, and you don't have a clue where the hell that thing came from. That's right. When you open your eyes on the count of three, anytime you hear the word hypnosis, the only thing that you have on, the only piece of clothing that you have on is a woman's lace red thong, and you don't know where it came from. One, two, three, sit up straight, open your eyes, open your eyes, wakey, wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey, wakey. Hi, honey. You're back there hiding it back of her. It's okay. It's just wake up. Very good. Anyway, hypnosis, ladies and gentlemen. I love something... That's right. <laughs> <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> when you go into deep hypnosis, people see things. They do things. I love and... <laughs> It just gets kind of crazy. People don't know exactly what they're doing. And it's okay. Because the deeper in a hypnosis that you go... that you go, the weirder things get. The deep, you know, the deep type stuff, it just gets kind of crazy. Because it's, Sam, you okay over here? Sam, you all great? What, what's the matter? You look confused. You okay? Hypnosis is kind of fun. But it's, 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 <laughs> What do you, what's the matter? What? Oh. Oh. Hold on, where the hell she go? <laughs> Gotta get back up here, you can't go fondle the merchant. Get back up, you're going on on earth. Come here. It's, it's, Jesus. Oh. What's going on? What? They're talking? What are they saying? The left one speaks Spanish. Anyway, hypnosis was kind of weird. It's, 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 no, you come back up here. Come back up here. Come here. Come here. You can't go molesting people. I don't have a license for that. Is, is it Sam or Sim? Sam. Sam. No, look down. There's three of them. Anyway, hypnosis is something that's... It's, 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 back up here. Try some Every time I say hypnosis, feathers shoot out of your butt. Hypnosis is just kind of funny. It's, it's <laughs> wait, wait, come here, come here, come here, come here. What's your name again? Jennifer, come here, honey. That's right. Come here. We gotta. I, <laughs> that's right. Gonna keep track of you, Jennifer. Sit down. Jennifer. Anytime I say the word hypnosis, stay in your seat. Yes. <laughs> anytime I say the word hypnosis, these feathers shoot out of your butt. Hyp this is kind of weird. It tickles like crazy. Anyway, it's a, what's, what are you laughing at? They got little thingies out there. Which is, that guy over there? Hold on a minute. over your head. Shake. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. What? He doesn't have anything to shake? <laughs> hey dude, she's laughing at your dick. Okay, so <laughs> Sleep deep, night-night. Sleep deep, night-night. Oh, bye-bye. Stay in your chair. Very good. 
You speak deep. You, there we go. You go 992. Say, I'll look down. There's six of them. <laughs> anyway, people start to do weird type stuff. <laughs> Sam, when I snap, when I snap my fingers, the whole audience can hear them. <laughs> sleep deep, night night. Sleep deep, night night. There you go. What the hell are you wearing? I don't know. Those are women's panties. Oh yeah, I know. Where'd you get them? Do you always wear women's underwear? Absolutely not. Hold on, I'll help. You got them on backwards. <laughs> what? That's not helpful. They're three sizes too small. <laughs> you want me to get rid of them? Please. Okay. Ready? Here we go. Move your hands. Everyone, make your hands. One, two, three. <laughs> They're gone. You have his underwear on. Don't worry, the skid mark should be dry. It's good. It's just, it's all right. What? What? You don't want those? Okay. Oh, try it one more time. Ready? One, two, three. Two. They're gone. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. What? I don't know. I just do the show. I'm not responsible for lost items. The last time this happened, it ended up in the audience. We had to go look for it. Oh, don't get it. Just, here, stand up for a minute. Stand up for a minute. Help. Okay. Tell me what it looks like. Well, you know. You know, if you're lying to me, we're never gonna find it. Oh, see the spot. What? Do you have a name for it? Yeah, it's Herman. Herman. Okay. You go out in the audience. You tell people what you're looking for. Describe it. Tell them what it is. And, and when you find it, bring it up here. I'll put it back on. Okay. That's right. Sleep deep, sweetheart. Just, just yell for it. Just, <laughs> come, wait a minute, whoa, dude, come here. I see it. Hurry up, hurry, 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 hurry. I can do bad. Are you ready? It's on your forehead. Yeah, okay, here, you don't want to be a dickhead. There we go. There we go. Just sit back down. Good. When I stab my fingers, you get proud of it. I snap my fingers, it gets bigger, you get prouder. You ever see cows sleep? Yeah. They stand up, don't they? Sure. Did you ever knock them down? All the time. Really? Seriously? You're the first guy that's ever admitted that. Okay. So what part of Texas? San Antonio, of course. San Antonio. Oh, very good. Okay. So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to plant your feet. Okay. So no matter what happens, you stay on your feet. Got it? Got it. You got it? Got it. Sleep. Night night. There we go. Oh shit. <laughs> Be a fucking cow. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. When you open your eyes, 
you can no longer talk. Nope, when you open your eyes, you can no longer talk. When you open your eyes, your tongue starts to fly out of your mouth and starts to wiggle up and down really, really, really quickly. That's right. Anytime you try to talk, your tongue flies out of your mouth and starts to wiggle up and down. If you try to catch it, it sticks between your fingers and starts to wiggle up and down quicker. If you try to keep it out in your mouth closed, it sticks out between your lips and starts to go up and down really, really, really quickly. The harder you try to keep it in your mouth, the more it sticks out and the faster up and down it wiggles. Anytime you try to talk, one, two, three, open up your eyes. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, what's your name again? <laughs> just say hi. Everybody say hi. Hi. You're just to talk to him. Just say hi. Put your fingers. Put your hands down. It's, that's right. No, it's what? It sticks between your fingers. It starts going up and down. That's right. You start doing, that's all right. When I put that hand down, it's stuck. There we go. Talk to him. Say hi. Tell him where you're from. <laughs> what do you do for a living? <laughs> Are you married? <laughs> Do you like girls? <laughs> what do you like to do to girls? <laughs> Ladies, I can have them do this all night long. You just go talk to me. Anyways. Very good. You come here, come here. When I snap my fingers, your tongue won't wiggle anymore, but you're going to sing opera. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Very good. The next time I snap my fingers, mouth's full of sticky peanut butter. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> next time I snap my fingers, that damn lizard's back. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> there, are you with him? Over here? Oh, who, over here? You are? Are you guys together? Oh, I can make your night, honey. <laughs> Very good. Back to normal. What was your name again? Lee. That's right, Lee. Sit down back down. Sleep deep. Bye-bye. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh, honey, you're going to have Christmas come early. <laughs> as long as he doesn't. <laughs> All right. Oh. Tulalip, you guys have been a fantastic audience tonight. Give yourselves a hand, please. Oh, should I get some dancers up here? What do you guys think? Should we do some dancers tonight? All right. Everybody on stage, when you open your eyes, when you open your eyes on the count of three, I'm a video producer. We're doing a brand new music video right here at Tulalip. That's right, we're doing a brand new music video at Tulalip. I'm paying $100,000 to my lead dancers. You are all the world's greatest dancers. Now, you will not get up on anybody's chairs. You will watch all the equipment. You won't bump into anybody. You will not leave the stage, and you will not fall down or fall off the stage. But you are a world's famous dancer. You're competing for $100,000. One, two, three, sit straight, open your eyes, wakey, wakey, wakey. I want everybody to stand up. I'm doing a contest up here. Everybody stand up. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. We're producing a music video, okay? That's right, we're doing a video, Sam. I'm paying a hundred grand, hundred thousand dollars to my lead dancer up here, okay? So go ahead and spread out a little bit. You won't leave the stage, you won't bump into anybody, but I wanna see some booty shaking going on. So our contestants, are you guys ready? You guys ready up here? <laughs> Audience, are you guys ready? <laughs> Ryan, are you ready? Hit it! <laughs> Let's see what you guys got! Ballet dancing. That's right, ballet. 
I want a ballet dancer. $100,000 to the person who can win this next contest. Spread out a little bit, grab a chair. It's an easy contest. Are you guys ready? Hit it, Ryan! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. shake them butts! right now, right now, right now, anytime you hear this music. Chips. Oops. The one I'm touching right now, now, and now. Anytime you hear this music. Anytime you hear that music, you're gonna look out, see 300 drunk, horny, rich women out there. That's right. It is bachelor night, or bachelorette party night. You are the lead dancer in the world's famous Chip and Dale's dancer. So that's right. You are Magic Mike. You will not remove any clothing below the waist because we don't have a license for that. And you won't leave the stage unless I ask you to. But those shirts are coming off. You're going to shimmy like what you never got. Yeah. That's right. You guys ready? Yeah. 
Ladies, this one's for you. Hit it! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, straight from the Animal Kalea Resort. ready. We're going to go out in style. Yeah, do it. The one I'm touching right now, when you hear this next music, you will look to your left. The one I'm touching right now, when you hear this next piece of music, you will look to your right. You will see somebody looking back at you. It's your long lost prom date. It's slow dance time and the chaperones aren't watching. Hit it. have fun with me tonight you know every night when I do a show and we've done shows like I said 450 plus shows right here on this stage every night when I do a show I always like to give back because you know hypnosis does have a therapeutic, well, therapeutic side too so allow me just a minute to do that 
If you're up on stage wanting to lose weight, starting tomorrow morning, you begin losing weight at the rate of one to three pounds per week. You do this easily, effortlessly, and naturally. You will not notice the weight come off, but you notice your clothes fit entirely different. This starts tomorrow morning. If you want to quit smoking starting tomorrow morning, you smoke your last cigarette. The first one tastes great. Anything that you smoke after that, tobacco-wise, no longer does. It's the worst thing you've ever put between your lips. If you have any pain in your body, it's gone. You don't need it. It's not welcome. It's not wanted. Anything else, I want you to imagine a treasure chest. Inside that treasure chest is a gift for me to you. Take out that gift, put it into your body where you can use it most. Ladies and gentlemen, for one last time, please put your hands together. These are your stars. Wow. Wow. You know, I've been prepping myself for a month and a half, but I didn't expect it to be this hard. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you guys with this. This is what's called post-hypnotic suggestions. Oh, by the way, before I say that, before I do this, i got to tell you guys, a lot of people have been saying, where are we going? Well, we're just about ready to sign a deal with the Lake Tahoe Hard Rock Casino. We sold it out last weekend. We're going to be down there every month. And thank you very much. And please, if you're not on my Facebook page, find me, Ron Stubbs, or find Ron Stubbs Hypnotic Mayhem. Please sign up on the pages, friend me, do whatever you got to do. Because we've got some big, huge announcements of monthly shows coming up in Washington. We won't be here at the Tulalip anymore, but we're finding a new home, and I want you guys to all come play with me. Would you guys do that? Would you guys come play with me? All right. And if you want us back at, at the Tulalip, make sure that you call them. Call marketing, call entertainment, and tell them you want Hypnotic Mayhem right back in here. Until then, I'm going to leave you guys with this. This is the way that it works. I give them a suggestion that's attached to an action. When I say the word, I'll just show you how it works. All right. Let's see. The one I'm touching right now, the one I'm touching right now, anytime I say, where's the party, you're going to jump up and yell, the party's in my pants. Very good. Yeah. The one I'm touching right now, anytime I say the words Talela, if you're going to jump up, slap yourself on the button, yell, who's your daddy? Very, very good. The one I'm touching right now, anytime I say my name, Ron Stubbs, you're going to jump up and yell, take me, I'm yours. Very good. Uh, the one I'm touching right now, anytime I say the words blackjack, you're going to jump up and yell, spank me, mama, I've been a bad, bad boy. Very good. The one I'm touching right now, anytime I say the words... Um, <laughs> uh, craps. Anytime I say the word craps, you're going to jump up and yell, um, let's see, what should I do with him? I'll think of him in just a minute. No, the one I'm touching you right now, anytime I say the words craps, you're going to jump up and yell, I'm naked underneath these clothes. Uh, no, actually, the one I'm touching right now, anytime I say the words craps, you're going to jump up and yell, damn, I'm pretty. There we go. <laughs> And the one I'm touching right now, my star, the one I'm touching right now, anytime I say the words outrageous, you're going to jump up, grab your crotch with both hands, and yell, they're after my lucky charms. Yeah. Everybody else on stage, when you hear somebody yell, they're after my lucky charms, you will stand up and yell, they're magically delicious. Yeah. To lay up, thank you guys for coming out and having fun with me tonight. Here we go. One, two, three, sit up straight, open your eyes. Ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, we've done 450 shows plus up here. We've been here since 2003. Tonight is our last night. I want to thank you guys for the bottom. Jeannie wished she could be here, but I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for coming out to every show, having fun with me, supporting hypnosis, supporting comedy. Just because I'm not here, make sure you come back out to the toilet and have some fun. It it <laughs> the hell was that? I'm trying to say good night. Anyway, if you came in late, my name's Ron Stubbs, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, so... <laughs> All yours, baby. See, this shit works. <laughs> anyway, Toledo Casino, I want to thank you. It's, it's, I'm trying to say good night here. Okay? Anyway, go out and hit the blackjack tables. Hey, uh, thank you. <laughs> you can do that. The craps tables are okay too. You can have fun out there. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm gonna stick with you. <laughs> what? I just said they go out and hit the craps tables. It's. <laughs> it's <laughs> sure you are. Okay. So, so, yeah. 
Anyway, think I'm going to stick around and have a couple drinks tonight. Make sure you guys have, have some fun with me. Disco balls are coming up next. Um, let's see, what else can I tell them? Uh, oh, by the way, well, where's the party tonight? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna stick around for the party tonight. Where, where I didn't, where was that party at? Was, it's, it's, <laughs> Tulela Casino. That's where. The, that's right. It's. <laughs> anyway, the shows get kind of crazy. If you've seen my show before, you know the way the thing works. It gets wild. It gets mild. Outrageous stuff does happen. That's my lucky job. It's. <laughs> I have no idea how the hell you know that, but you're scaring me now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here's what I want you guys to do. I want everybody to stand. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta, I gotta introduce this guy. <laughs> I forgot. Uh-oh. I forgot. Gotta hook a brother up. One, two, three. <laughs> Don't be ashamed. Welcome to my world, dude. <laughs> See, outrageous stuff does happen, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! I want everybody to stand up. Everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. <laughs> On the count of three, I want you guys to take a bow. <laughs> On the count of three, Talalup, I want you guys. <laughs> I forgot about her. <laughs> On the count of three, I want you guys to blow the roof off, show them some love one more time. One, two, three, give them a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Now, folks, the funniest part of my entire evening happens right now, because they don't know why you're clapping, but they're about to. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody standing up, I want you to focus your attention on me just for a minute. I'm going to count to three. I'm going to snap my fingers. When I snap my fingers, you will all be wide awake, completely coherent. You will also remember in explicit detail every single thing that you have done tonight. <laughs> You will not be embarrassed, humiliated, or angry, but you're going to laugh like hell because you were the star of the show. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys very much. Thank you very much. I'll let you guys go out and say thank you very much for having fun with me tonight. Go ahead. There you go, sweetie. Thank you very much, honey. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Give him a hand one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I really want to thank you guys for coming out, having some fun with me tonight. Until we meet again, thank you very much for allowing me to be your clown. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen him not.